Who are you and what do you do? So my name is Laura Nobles, and I'm the CEO of Nobles Global Communications. We're a PR and integrated marketing firm that focuses um, strictly on healthcare, and we've been in business 13 years this summer. What does PR and integrated marketing mean? So um, public relations, uh, who's familiar with public relations? Okay. So this is, um, you know, things like working with the media, um, things like your internal audiences. Um, integrated marketing is, is, is paid media, a lot of direct marketing, advertising, things like that. It's, it's the whole communications mix with the exception of IR, I would say, is what we do. Do you find that most of the client work that you get are people who are looking to promote a positive message or they are defensively trying to protect themselves against something that went wrong and you're in crisis mode? Uh, we do both. Um, happily, less of the latter because we try to keep our clients out of that mm -hmm. um, by pre preventive counsel. Um, but most of our clients come to us because they want to increase awareness in the market. So really what we do is use communications to build, number one, reputation, which I actually spoke two years ago mm -hmm. on at the uh, 10X uh, conference, as well as revenue, right? So we work with a lot of um, commercial companies who have products on the market who are trying to differentiate themselves from com competition. They might be in a new category where we have to inform a market of why this new category is important, how this new category is gonna impact patients, that kind of thing. We do also work with early stage companies that are seeking funding, that are just getting their clinical studies done and need to be out in the market, um, reaching investors and making sure they're meeting their milestones and things like that. So it's, it's kind of a mix. And some, some clients use us really as an extension of their marketing department so we can do kind of everything for them. Some clients have internal people, so we handle basically PR strategy exclusively. So it really depends what the client's needs are. There's no cookie cutter approach and every client's needs are different. I'm sure that there are plenty of times that you think, you see something in the market and you think, if they had only asked me first, they totally would not have done that. Uh, and Yes. In uh, fact, I was discussing one of those case studies at lunch. <laughs> is that right? Well, actually, so without getting too specific, there's uh, at least one or two people in this audience that have shared uh, an idea that was really exciting. The early stage, when do you call on Alora? Mm -hmm. You know, how early is it before you say, I need a little bit of air cover mm -hmm. to um, socialize my concept? Yeah. It's interesting you asked me that because I was in conversation with a startup just a couple of weeks ago, and they're in the patient monitoring space, which we've worked in extensively. And particularly in the hospital, it's a very commoditized space. It's Philips GE and some other players, but they all, there's not a huge amount of innovation. They kind of leapfrog each other, and then the next one will leapfrog, and it just, they just kick, play catch up, and it's, Kind of a relationship game and so this company actually has um, a, a device they want to put on the med surge floor which is typically not monitored to be able to capture patients before they go into distress which is actually a really important thing um, so they've miniaturized the technology um, they have off-the-shelf sensors they use with the patients um, the nurses are able to input things that traditionally you don't input in a patient monitor like this patient just ate or they just walked down the hall or these other factors that go into what a patient today is like or what their experience is like such that this data can be extrapolated later so that we can start analyzing the data in aggregate, start doing predictive medicine, things like that. GE and Philips, those companies are trying to do that, but they're kind of, they're so big, it's like moving a barge, right? So I was really intrigued by what this company's doing. They're not FDA cleared yet, but they're going to be soon. And, um, and they said, well, you know, when should we hire you because, you know, I could use this other full-time employee that could do this, this, and this. And I said, you know, particularly in your space, you need to hire us sooner than later because what's the reality of it is if you don't frame your message and your story, your competitors are going to do it for you. Mm. And if you get to that point too late, sell against you exactly, you've even they will create story. a rep reputation for you before you're able to. So in that case, sooner than later. Um, sometimes if a company really, you know, needs financing and, you know, there might be some incremental work we do to get them in front of investors. Um, you know, and those types of clients, if, particularly if they're going into a PMA study and they're years from commercialization, that's not going to be an ongoing relationship where we're working together every day. I, I want to quickly, yep. I, I know we're running long, but I'm really curious. I, I just remembered the term vaporware, mm -hmm. which was big a decade or two ago, and it was back in early internet and, hey, this is what's going to happen. Can you do that in this space? I don't think you can. You know, I think, well, I was back in the internet during the bubble hype. So I, I, I mean, I try to stay away from hype as much as we can. We have a client actually in the dietary supplement space, which is kind of unusual for us. And they've done a lot of scientific work, clinical trials on their product, which is unusual for a dietary supplement. They're not getting credit for it because one of their competitors is trying to stake the claim. But their website said, here's why you can believe the hype. And I said to the, the CEO, I'm like, get that word off your website right now. Like, this is nowhere that you'd be wanting to do that. So, you know, you've got to be, you've got to be honest. You've got to be... Um, you've got to be straightforward, got to be a straight shooter because we're dealing with people's health here. So, you know, I don't think there's any place for vaporware in healthcare. Great. Thank you, Laura Nobles. Yours.